Hi everyone, so for Star Wars, we're now the last Jedi trailer's popped up. I didn't get to it last week. Uh the not the trailer, but the uh, Star Wars video just because busy. Uh, figured we'd go start going over stuff that about the trailer, what we can discern from it, and one of the I'm gonna go over the one a lot of people have spoken about. What does Luke Skywalker mean when it, you know he knows of only one absolute truth? It's time for the Jedi to end. What does he mean when he says that? I mean, there's several ways you can interpret that. One, it's time for the Jedi to end. We There can be no more Jedi. Two, is it the Jedi code that needs to end? Is it the methods of the Jedi that need to end? Uh, what, what what does Luke mean by that? Now, obviously, I don't know until I see the movie. Even then, maybe we won't find out truly until episode nine what he means by that. But what we need from... Hmm, to interpret what he means by when he says time for the Jedi, we kind of need to understand what Luke's the little we know from Luke's mentality on this place, uh, in his place in the movie so far. What he what he's been doing the last thirty years. Now we don't know what he's been doing the last thirty years per se, but uh, we can get from the little we've gathered from interviews talking about Luke, Ray's uh, first impressions of Luke and all that. You know, you should, it's one of the reasons why you should never meet your heroes. They might not be what you expect. Luke is not what she expects. Um, so, he, Luke is gone through, he's seen the destruction of his temple, he's seen the slaughtering of his students, uh, he's seen, a, he's seen his nephew become corrupt, I know, when you think about it, what has being a Jedi really done for Luke? Not, I mean, when really, really look at it, it, being a Jedi hasn't really done crap for Luke, he, you know, he, he he was told by these two old Jedi that say, you are the chosen one, you must stop him. Stop your father, you must. Mm. You know, he's been told by those guys. He goes, gets his hand cut off, finds out that one of the most evil beings in the galaxy is his dad. He's able to save his dad, and then he gets shocked, and then sees his, watches his dad die in front of him. Then throughout the rest of his life, leading up to Force Awakens and Last Jedi, he's, you know... Um, you know, he, he's going on missions, trying to restart their order, and then he sees that nothing good really comes from the Jedi. The Jedi is an out-of-date, uh, out-of-date principle, out-of-date philosophy. Same with as the Sith are the out-of-date, uh, kind of an out-of-date, um, philosophy and principle. I mean, the reason the Jedi fell is because they didn't adapt. They didn't change with the times. They just kept to their code throughout the ages. The Sith were able to overthrow them with just two, there are three of them, an entire, hundreds and hundreds of Jedi were overthrown by three guys within the span of everything, you know, Maul, Dooku, Sidious, technically Grievous, <clears throat> technically Grievous, a couple of bounty hunters, but more or less, yeah, just those three to four guys were able to overthrow hundreds of Jedi, and because the Jedi, the Jedi did not change, they did not adapt, the Jedi did not go, change with the times, whereas the Sith did. So, I, what I interpret it honestly as, and again, we don't have context in anything, what I interpret it as, and I'm sure it's how a lot of people have kind of interpreted it, it's not this, when Joe looks it's time for the Jedi, and he doesn't mean it's time, I am the last Jedi, that I am going to be the only Jedi, you are not going to be a Jedi, right? Doesn't mean he's going to not train her in the Force. I think he means that the Jedi, the code of the Jedi, the balance does not exist with the Sith and the Jedi. Like, with Luke existing... As a Jedi, there are no Sith, therefore the balance technically isn't there. But there, I mean, there's dark side, and he is the light side. Maybe. Um, which is going to be an entire video for another day. Um, but the, the Jedi... The Jedi don't... Can't come back at this point. There's not... Because they, it, wouldn't, it would just be a repeat of history. Unless the Jedi change their methods entirely, the, Je the Jedi can't come back. Because there's no there's no point with it to the Jedi coming back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they can they can stop Kylo and Snoke, but then what? Now there's the balance is shifted. There, there's always going to be dark and light. That's the, that's I think one of the biggest things about the uh, about the Force and the, what I think Luke's going to reveal to Rey, reveal to us what he's basically come to the conclusion of is that with the Force. You could you could wipe out the Sith, but the Force is always going to be the Force. There's always going to be light and dark. So. To have that balance, you need, the, the the force was out of balance by the time the by when the Phantom Menace rolled around, the the force was completely out of balance because there was little to no dark darkness. Like the dark side was not really overly prevalent, even though the dark side I think is actually naturally stronger 
like j just in terms of without any sort of you know um, effort in, in improvement. You know, dark side I think is naturally stronger, which is why the light side does exist in more quantity than the quality over the dark side. But you know, with practice, the light side overcomes the dark side. All that good stuff. So Luke, I think, has come to the conclusion that no, the Jedi, the Jedi cannot come back. Right. I will train you. I will train you not in the light, not in the dark, but I will train you in the Force. Not, not in the light, not in the dark. The Force. Yeah. Just do a video of me just like, for five minutes straight, just... Anyway, so I, I would love to see him do that. Just, Ray, no, I will not train you in the light or the dark. I, I will train you in... The Force. <laughs> Mystical. Um, uh, and the Force is my ally, and a powerful ally it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I think Luke has cro uh, crossed the... I think, first off, Luke maybe may have crossed lines into the Grey Jedi territory. He's not Dark Side user. No, he's not a full-blown one, but he's definitely not a full-blown light user anymore. Uh, and I and I think that's what that's basically uh, to sum up the video. Yeah, I think I think when Luke says it's time for the Jedi to end, it's time for the Jedi as a, a as an idea to end. It's time for us to just embrace the Force. Now, could I be wrong? Absolutely. Am I right? Maybe. But let me know if you think differently. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to re uh, review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. As I said earlier uh, this week, there will be no review for anything this week. I just don't have the money to go out and see a movie. Tomorrow next week will be Guardians. So, yep. Yeah, if you got an idea for who wins Star Wars, superhero, magic, anything I do on the channel, put in the comments below. Let me know. I'll do a review of it at some point. Um, I'll have magic up in a little bit. And yeah, I got Samurai Jack and Dragon Ball Super on Sunday or Saturday, box office on Sunday, and anything else I feel like talking about. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.